Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be talking about my new tarantula, which is the Goliath bird eating tarantula, also known as T. Sturmy. This is a species that I never had a desire to own until recently. Often they're wild caught, which can come with their own problems. I've also heard a lot about them getting like cysts and problems with that it just never really sounded appealing to me but recently i kind of started getting more and more interested in them i don't own anything from this genus i really wanted to kind of get a little bit of i'm literally filming <laughs> what do you want do you think it's a bad idea to post it now i would post it tomorrow oh my god i'm sorry <laughs> subscribe <laughs> Subscribe to Okay, bye. I don't even remember what I was saying. But anyway, I didn't really have a desire to own this species until recently. And there was a Show Me Snakes Expo my friend went to. I personally didn't go to this one. But she asked if I wanted anything and happily picked me up a beautiful adult female T. Sturmy. She picked out seriously like the prettiest one I think I've ever seen. I'm super excited about this spider. But I'm also equally excited about the enclosure we're going to put together for it. Because I've kind of had this video vision in my mind for what I want and so I don't know I'm just happy to finally be able to do it and yeah let's just go ahead and get right into it and we'll talk a little bit more about her obviously once it's all put together and we have to put her in it which should be a really fun experience I might die anyway let's get going <laughs> So this is the enclosure we are going to be using. This is the giant tarantula cribs prototype that they gave me for Trippy Toad. And I did house Trippy Toad in it for a little bit and rehoused him into a bin cage. I did a lot of rehousing for Trippy Toad, but uh, I like it now and he seems really happy. He's doing well. Anyway, basically I saw this enclosure and I was like, that would be perfect for a tea stir me. So here we are. We're gonna do it. We're gonna set it up. I'm kind of really excited about it. So this is gonna be a little bit of a process, not gonna lie. We need hydro balls. I'm not sure if this is gonna be enough. I don't know, let's find out together. So basically this is gonna be the drainage layer because I am gonna be using a live plant in here. So this is only one bag. That's still a little too thin of a layer for me. Uh, so let's do another. So remember, this is the drainage layer. These are just like clay balls. All right, so now we have this fabric mesh and this is what we're gonna cut to keep the substrate from coming into the drainage layer. Let's try to cut it like the same size as this. And now we have like a ton left over so I can use it for other enclosures. See how this fits, perfect literally flawless awesome now it is substrate time i am just using reptisoil like usual <laughs> oh my god this is i don't think i'm going to be able to lift this enclosure like i think it's going to be too heavy for me oh yeah <laughs> We're getting somewhere, we are. So here is the hide. I got a very nice big hide for a very big spider. Just trying to see how this will fit best. I think this is pretty good. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, so this should be pretty good. I, I think that this is gonna be a really cool enclosure. Now question is, oh, I need to get the plant. I put part of the pothos plant in my aquarium to see if it would grow roots. It has, let me show you. Look at that science, isn't that cool? So hopefully this is gonna be enough roots. I don't really know, but we're gonna bury it and hope that this is good. I'm gonna put it over it like this. Now that drainage layer hopefully will kind of help with um, the plant rooting also. This looks really cool. Yes. Oh, I bet this is so heavy now. Oh, still liftable. Okay, there's only one thing, a couple things that's missing. I did get some moss. T. Sturmy, oh, 
Okay, so this is the moss that I got. T-stermy are very humidity dependent. Now, a lot of my tarantulas, I overflow the water dish and then I just let it completely dry out before I fill it again. T-stermy, I feel like they always need a water dish and need a full water dish. So let's put some moss in here. That's really cool. Yes, I really like how this looks. Check it out so far. Yes. Oh, I need to get more substrate up there. Maybe I should get some light over here. Oh, there you go. You can see better now. Yes, this looks so cool so far. So now I just need the water dish. All right, this is where I'm gonna put the water dish. So it's like right where I can easily see it and fill it. All right, so now all we have to do, we've got some live oak leaves. Mix this in. Oh, this is looking so cool. Uh, this might be my favorite tarantula setup we've done. We got moss, we got pothos, we got oak leaves. And so this right here, neat. If I can open it, these are little springtails. You can see the white, yeah, the, that little, the little white things kind of jumping around. Those are springtails, so we are going to add them. Groovy, baby, let's do it. I'm so scared of this spider, not even gonna lie. This thing is a beast. I am going to wear gloves. Okay, so I think we might be ready. Um, at least I have like my really long paintbrush. So basically I've only taken the lid off this once and it was to feed it a hornworm, which it did eat. Oh shit. So there it is. So I am just going to go ahead and prepare for a lot of hair flicking my way. If you don't know anything about t Sturmy, let me tell you, their hairs are among some of the most irritating. You do not want these on you. So yeah, that is why we are going to be like super careful. Ugh. She's actually like being really gentle. Oh my God, she is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Do you guys see her? Whoa. Oh wow. Oh, straight to her hide, I bet. Wow, that was not bad at all. <laughs> she is absolutely stunning. I am very impressed. Look at her size. Whoa. And the enclosure turned out so good. So, so good. I did actually notice that there is like some really nice like leaf litter in this enclosure. Kind of want to recycle it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's just some different kind of leaf litter that's in there. So I'll just put that in the corner, see if she does anything with it. I think I'm gonna name her Zelda. I'm really happy with her. I really love this enclosure and I think she's gonna really love it. She's huge and this enclosure is huge. I know Tarantula Cribs is not selling this size, at least yet, but I really hope that they do because I think this is like a perfect enclosure for a T Sturmy, like size wise. As you see, like she's got like plenty of room to do whatever. She has like all this moss. I was able to fit a plant a huge piece of cork, a nice size water dish. Like I was able to really like go out for her in this enclosure. And so I think she's gonna be super happy with it. I'm super happy with it. This is great. This is very cool. So she did have a hornworm yesterday. I feel like she could have another. I don't know if she'll take another right now, but we can see. Ooh, I'm not brave enough to grab that. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> Yeah, I think she'll take it. We'll have to see. Is that worm like dead? She is so majestic as she moves. Oh, got it. 
Oh, I missed it. I missed it. That's okay. I think that other one's dead, but yes. Oh, she got it. Fantastic. That's her second hornworm. Like, and I gave her a huge one last night because I felt like she could be plumped up a little bit and she took it, she ate it, and then she just took another. That is awesome. I'm so happy with her. <laughs> Okay, but there we go. That is her new enclosure, and this is my first tea stir me. I got one, I did it, super scary, but hey, she's actually a really gentle one so far, so I kind of hope that's how she stays. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> like this video if you did, subscribe if you're not and you want to be. Don't forget I have an Instagram that I use probably way too much. It's at tarantula.cat, you can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring. It is all linked down below. And let's get into the Patreon pet pics.